Hello everybody, this is Matt back again with the Blackwell Legacy. Uh, this is my Let's Play. Uh, when we stopped last time, we uh, had just gone through all the papers that were left when our aunt died and uh, trying to unravel the mystery of what this hereditary illness striking down the women of my family is. Uh, it's uh, raining out today. I have my window open because I couldn't bear to let a good rain go past and appreciate it. So if you hear rain noises or thunder, I am sorry. Uh, those are legit. But I didn't have the heart to not have them happen. Okay, we had the phone happening. Hello? Rosangelina, hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for submitting your last review on time. For once. Yeah. I've got a little assignment for you today. Assignment? Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. College girl named Joanne Sherman. That's awful, but... You know the Brittany house? The NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA, too. And hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. I hate him so much. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Oh, whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter. Sort of. My old notepad should come in handy for this. Okay, we have notes now. I feel like uh, Los Angeles had a grim time. Okay, so here's some new photographs. That's definitely Auntie Lauren. She's looking at something off camera. I wonder what it was. I assume that's my mother. She sort of looks like me, I guess. Other than that, she's a total stranger. Is that my dad? He looks so young. I always pictured my dad as being older. This talks. Uh, uh, un unfortunate. No wonder he's dead. And then this picture doesn't have any identifiers. Is this... This is the grandmother, I assume, and that's Lauren, and that's Jack. I would guess. Okay, that's done. Got my notebook. Going to NYU to go investigate a suicide. Seems like you wouldn't send a book reviewer to do this. Even in contrived video game land. Brittany Hall dorm is at the uh, Daily Planet. Building. Ugh. I feel like hell and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully this won't take too long. There's nobody home. Hmm? Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Can I help you? Perhaps. Could I ask you a few questions? Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? Well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the dean to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? Okay, so we've got this notebook with facts that we can use to prompt people. Where can I ask why there's a male RA on a women's floor? I assume it's a women's floor. What can you tell me about Joanne? What was she like? I never hung out with her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was, there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Would you have a picture of Joanne? 
A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. I'm glad that she asked. Even well, that's, that's all for now. Excuse. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Let's take a look at the books. I'm not board. stealing stuff from college kids. I just want to look. Just a bunch of notices. Guitar lessons, study groups, stuff like that. There's nobody home. There's nobody home. There's nobody home. This rain's really coming down all of a sudden. I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Am I supposed to know you? No, I'm with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye. The newspaper. I've never heard of it. It's just a small paper. Yeah, I guess that. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's alright. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? Let's, uh, trust I understand our that this must be a difficult time for you. Difficult? Hell no. It's been great. You know how long I've been wanting my own room? You don't care? Not even a little bit? No, I don't. Why the hell should I? And for that matter, why should you? Will you please calm down? Calm down? Who the hell do you think you are? Look, just tell me a little bit about Joanne and I'll leave. Please. Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at our desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student? Yeah, sure. Whatever. This right here, this skull shirt. Pants combo is maybe the most college outfit I've Thanks ever seen. Thanks for helping seen. out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay, so she stonewalled me. Let's go talk to the RA. See if our new information can help. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. 
She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. At least that's something we can present to Kelly, who's lying to us. Yeah? So, you've been sleeping somewhere else lately? Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend's. You've been following me or something? No, no. Just confirming the information. Looks like Aiken's been talking. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. Hmm. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Alright, we pointed out a contradiction, collapsed a bunch of evidence. That's good. Yeah? Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... Oh, screw it. You wanna talk? Fine. What do you want to know? Alright, I mean, she could lie. I'm not the cops. So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid. I could just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although, the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. All right. Just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Okay, that's Thanks everything. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Uh, I got this picture. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. Okay. Two mystery girls. Chances we have to go look for them? Probably pretty high. I think that's probably everything we need, though. Let's go... Because I can't present items to characters. Ugh. Not this is getting well. worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. Yeah, let's go home. This is getting bad. Oh my god, this really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long.
do research. No. No information about Kelly. No, I can't find any information about Joanne. You're really terrible at Google. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it just happened this morning, I doubt that anyone would have published it yet. 2006, there's Facebook. You could find information. Nope, no information about Adrian. <sighs> I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll fill up to it. But today, it's just not happening. Right, no more interruptions. Done. Article's finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. No. What's... I need fresh air. I've got to get out of here. Picture was glowing. I don't want to go to the psych hospital. Let's go check out the glowing picture, I guess. It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. No. I open those curtains and a dozen windows can look directly in here. Those curtains stay shut and prying eyes stay out. Okay. I don't know where I'm supposed to go to get fresh air though. Let's see if Nishanti's home. Come in! Hello, Rosa. Come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. So, um, how are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Right, Moti? Aren't we just fine? Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Really? It only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I suppose that's irony. I suppose so. So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. That dog is adorable. Moti? He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh, yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not taboo exactly, it's just... Oh, I know, just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly, though, once you take the first step. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I do. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day, and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment. 
And I admit, I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high-frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high-pitched sound that the dogs can hear, but we can't. But I know better. You know better? Definitely. I noticed these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea. But I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense anything. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Let's go examine, uh, this place. Here, boy. Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Right, Moti. See ya. Los Angeles not really paying attention. Someone wants a treat, eh? Go get it. That's cute, but uh, I think I'm done here. is happening. It's gone. The pain, it's gone. That was strange. It was like, like. Oh, glowing picture. What is that? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but. No, no, no! I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest, that's all. do that so Griff long time no see those tricks right thought as much black willed dames always sleeping you're always sleeping and I'm always watching yep that's me the eternal chump mmm it's about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake up. What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, you shut up. You're going to listen. And you're going to listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! 
Damn you, you know my name, now say it. You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... Uh... So, that's Joey. He's our ghost. Who are you, and what the hell do you want with me? Huh, you don't waste any time. You're a Blackwell, all right. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone, and I'm the family spirit guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. So you're a ghost? Yep. You're a ghost. There's a ghost in my apartment. Hey, you're sharp. Took your aunt and grandmother ages to work that out. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me. Why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? Started at, uh, the park. You mean, the dog run? Yeah. That's where we've gotta go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. This is all too much. I've got to sleep on this. Sorry, kiddo. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid. Not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Um... Let's roll with it. Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. No, he's arguing with a ghost, right? After you. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules, whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Let's see. What would Joey do? Let's, uh... Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. I don't know if that's charming, Joey. Hey, I'm talking to you. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. Shh. Relax. Slow down and tell me everything. I'm here to help. 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 
He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't, can't. They run away. We won't run away. No. No, we're sick! He poisoned us! Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you! Run! Run away like all the others! Yeah, keep talking like that, sister, and you'll be doing the running. Now why don't you shut your yap and calm the hell down? You. Yeah? I know it's you. Who? You're him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave! Alright. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. Well, Joey's not exactly good at this either, apparently. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. What an odd dream. Good morning, Bright Eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? Have you been here all night? Where else am I gonna go? I can't leave your side. Doesn't matter if you're asleep or not. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She... made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. Let's do it. Yes. Good. Maybe there's hope after all. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. It kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh my god. Where have you taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place. Forcing its way into your mind. Let's ask about safety. Is that... 
dangerous? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point, or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place, and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? I dig. I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. Well, uh, this is already going on for 36 minutes, so I'm going to stop the recording. And uh, we'll pick right back up with Joey's questions and ask and maybe uh, start some investigating. How about that? All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, we'll be back with more.